I've been waiting for Maple M or Maple Story M to come out since I heard first about the beta way back in like January, and I was so hyped for the game. I played the beta every day. I probably stopped at like level, I think it was like 86 or something. And I was uh, trolling through the Discord of Maple Story M the other day, and I realised that they'd sprung it on us with two days' notice that they were going to be releasing the soft launch of the game. So today I'm going to be looking at just a couple of things that you're going to be that you're going to notice are, are different between the beta and the soft launch and or potentially the global launch when they when they release it. So the first thing is they've got the guide missions. Usually there'd be two. There'd be an equipment and I can't remember what the other one was, but there was about three chapters in it and they give some good rewards. Uh, towards the end of this one you get unique powder. That'd be pretty good. Uh, the attendance, event rewards, and rest reward are all still there. Uh, obviously, the event and the attendance rewards different. Uh, and even the rest, the rest rewards different. Um, once you get up to 100, the powders stay epic. Um, I think the experience changes based on level, and the mesos goes up to 70k. But the refiner powder, you only get three epic ones once you're at 100. So I think it, that's different from the beta, because in the beta you got... um. Mm, I think it was one unique. Uh, I think it was 200k from the rest of the Mesos reward. And uh, you've got... Alright, we'll move on to the, the tasks. you got daily tasks at reset. Daily, you get Mesos and Gold Leaf for them. Some of them are pretty easy to do. next one is the achievements. So the achievements count across all characters. So if you make an ult and get pets on that character, you can redeem the gold leaves on your main and uh, keep stacking them up like that. The weekly missions you have access to on all of your characters and uh, they're independent so you can complete them all on different characters and gain the rewards. Daily hunt resets every day and uh, I think... It's just ones that are respective to your level, so... But, um, they give a good boost of a, a little bit of experience at least. Now, the daily dungeons, this is how you get, uh, the gems. I think this is different from on the, uh, the beta, because on the beta, it seemed like you got them from the, the elite dungeons, and it was like a one in four chance of maybe getting the one that you wanted. Uh, whereas this is like on the Korean Maple Story, and you can, um... You can choose which one you go to, except the main difference that I can see is that you can't see um, what kind of gems you can get, like what kind of a, like what red would be, like for like penetration rate for example, like blue, I'm pretty sure it has physical damage in it, but um, like you can't see that from um, just looking at it, so you'd have to go through and give them all a go and see which, which gems are which, or just look what other people are wearing, you know. Uh, for, the, for the daily dungeons, it says the recommended attack it's like 6,000, 26,000, next one's 80,000 and 300,000. I had 24k attack and I was doing the 80,000 one in like, I think it was like a minute 30 or a minute. So um, you definitely can do it with less than the recommended attack. So don't be afraid to like, give it a go. I tried the 300 one and I got, I got one shot. So maybe wait till you got a little bit more attack to do that one. The elite dungeons are a little bit different to uh, on the beta because oh actually I can't remember so the elite dungeons early on give you rare oh, common equipment and it gets into rare and then it gets into epic further along and you can go into hard which also starts from the bottom gives common rare and then so the only difference here that I've seen is that hard gives you weapon powder, whereas normal gives you armor powder. So, once you complete one of the dungeons, so you'll be able to choose one of four rewards. It's lucky dip, again. Um, but then, in addition to that, you'll also get some powder. It's not very much. I think for for level 71, it was, it was like three or four powder. I think it was, it's not very much. But it stacks up when you do it every day. We'll move across to the shop. Here you've got health potions, mana potions, misc, that's just teleport scrolls. The gold leaf, so you can buy powder and the rank up stones. You got occult cubes. The occult cubes are used to uh, change the potential in your gear, although I think you need a couple of hundred to do one reroll. 
and it only goes up to epic. The scissors of karma, the, well, silver scissors of karma, are used to make your gear tradable up to epic. And I've noticed on the armor it says scissor cuts ten. I'm not sure if that means you need to cut it ten times before you can trade it, or it can be cut ten times before it breaks. I'm not sure yet. So moving further down, we've got the Mulong Dojo. So you've got, of course, some chairs, some damage skin, the pendants for experience, which I can't see written on them that they are unique equipped, so you can equip two of the 15% ones potentially. I'd have to give it a go. The rank there says unique, although the rank here says epic, so that's just about that. Here you've got all of the buff items that you can get. I think most of them have, I think they're 10% they're bonuses, which is different to the 30% bonuses that you can get in the cash shop ones. So, a little bit worse, but does cost money. Here, this is something we didn't have in the beta, obviously. We had the uh, uh, crystal, crystal um, packages. So, the crystal crystal character booster pack uh, starts off in tiers. I think the first tier is level 5 to 69. And you got around, I think it was like 1,600 gems. The next one was I think, level 70 to level 99. Or level 100 and that one gave you 2450 gems i think and then this one overall gives i think 5600 all of which cost 44 dollars rep for the mesos pack so this one gives a little bit of gems a little uh, a bonus crystal so if you're buying uh gems in the in the cash shop you can use the ticket to redeem bonus if that made sense uh, as well as they come with a Mesos ticket for the cheaper ones, 500k, and the more expensive one is 2 mil. And the Mapless pack, just another overpriced uh, you know, thing. Right, we're going to move on to the, the Forge, because this is a good part. So leveling up looks pretty much the, the same to the beta. Put in your item, you can uh, use the powder, or you can use your equipment. Um... The main thing that is different to the beta in regards to this is you can't upgrade accessories. So I'll go into my equipment right here. Ah, like earrings, pendant, and stuff like that. You can't upgrade. I got a ring from a quest, you can't upgrade that. The only ring, so I think the best in slot for for not slot for so far until they um maybe release a few more things uh, upon the global release is going to be the Pharaoh's ring. So you get this from the Nets Pyramid. They're also not a unique equipped, so you can get, going on the hard version, you can get full four slot of the unique one as well as the, the belt. Now, they do have a potential on them. I think the the unique one will have two lines, potentially. Uh, so it's like what my other gear has. Two lines. So then I think you'll be able to re-roll that. That'll be the best in slot, although I'm still not sure about the potentials on this game. I haven't seen anything above like a 1% and uh, like I don't know about you guys but I'm not willing to throw away like 50 cents per roll 1.2% oh, not willing to throw away 1. 50 cents per roll for maybe 1% bonus so we'll move on to the rank up system throw away a piece of equipment so again pretty much the exact same as the beta it costs mesos to do you need the upgrade bars however I didn't realize this until it was too late. You only get the upgrade bars from, it seems, a couple of quests. Overall leveling up to level 100, I think I got maybe 160 to 200, anywhere in there, I can't remember. But uh, you use these to upgrade your armor. I use them to upgrade some pieces of equipment to sell in the auction house or the um, the trading system before I realized that uh, I ran out and couldn't get any more. So that brings me into what I was gonna say next is you can buy them in, like I said, the shop. Or you can <laughs> level up alts to uh, increase the gear of your main, which I don't know about you guys, isn't the way I'd like to level up the gear of main. So hopefully, maybe on the global release, they'll uh, make those a little bit more accessible. Maybe through the extracting system, they could uh, make it so if you break down something, say that's rare, you'll get maybe like a quarter or a fifth of the, uh, the upgrade stones that it requires to make it that rank. So, you can slowly accumulate them over time. That'd be something interesting, maybe. 
Next thing along is the fuse. I haven't got any equipment that I can throw into this, but I'll explain it quickly. You can put in two pieces of equipment that are at max level of the same rank, and they will create an upper rank of the base items type. So if I put in like a, a max rank hat and a max rank glove, or the glove and the material, the hat and the base, it would become a tier up of the hat, although it will become a random hat of that type. So uh, when I was trying to level up... Uh, first upgrade my first set of armor I put in my epic gloves and put in <laughs> like a fully leveled up of whatever some epic some epic item I, I grinded up to um to upgrade it and it it made like a random type of um it made a random unique glove so I had to sell it and I wasted all my upgrade stones <sighs> the good thing about it is is um it generates gear that has slightly different to normal um stats. I'll see if I can find any in the trade system. And I'll show you what I mean. So you see they've got 34 physical and magic defense. You go into this one. 34. 32, 31, so down there. Uh, that's a that's a good example of a bad one. But um through the fuse system you can generate gear that has a slightly higher defenses on it. And then by the time that gets to unique and uh, mythic or unique, legendary and mythic, the differences become way more than just a couple. It ends up being much better armor. So keep an eye out for those. They'll definitely be worth more in the auction house so you can sell them or you'll want to use them for your own gear. Enhance system, pretty similar to what you'd expect. You chuck in your item and you have to pay a lot of mess so and potentially destroy it. Rip. Change option, this is when you're cubing, so you can use the occult cubes, so it takes a hundred to do one, and it only goes up to epic. I've got some black cubes here, you can do them, either way it costs you 200k transfer, so say so you're uh, enhancing your armor and you break it, which has a destruction chance at a certain point, I think it's like a 10, it has a chance to break, it's a 5% chance, I don't think that increases as it goes up, but your success rate, your maintenance rate, and your degrade rate do change. So once you've broken a piece of armor, because I know you're going to, we all are. You can bring it down here, and if it's broken, you chuck it in, and then with a piece of armor or a similar similar type of item that is the same rank can be, I, don't know, I suppose, like sacrificed. I think to um to bring back your broken piece. Another sad difference is we haven't got Zakim yet. Please bring him here. I miss the boss. I need to kill. Not sure what Monster Mashes is. I never played that in the Korean Maple Story, but hopefully it makes monsters drop items. I've been grinding in this map for the last six hours, and I have not seen a single item drop. Oh, all right. This thing took. I completely forgot about this, and I stumbled upon it just before, and I got like a free couple mil. So if you go into your challenges and then into your quests, you go down into so I'll show you quests, and then you go down into the theme reward. Yeah, and uh, as you complete zones, it gives you cash rewards that you can redeem. So definitely get into that and uh, start earning some blood money. All right. Well, thank you all so very much for watching. So I hope I hope you enjoyed. If it helped, please leave a like or subscribe, or both, or comment. I'll respond. I love you. Dude, where's my record thing? Oh, man, recording on front sucks.